Are we gonna beat this today, maybe? We're about to go undercover on our first police undercover mission, I think. I think that's the agenda for today. <laughs> All right, chat. Hello, welcome to Police Quest 1 in pursuit of the Death Angel 1987. Previously on Police Quest 1, I was a police officer. I brought people to jail. I gave people tickets. I caught a guy who was drunk driving. I parked my car. I reloaded, uh, I took showers, lots of showers. I fought bikers. I met Jack, my best friend Jack, who is having a really tough time in his life. I got shot a lot, yes. I staked out at the park and caught some kid selling drugs. That was neat. I got promoted. I am now part of the narcotics division because I am the best and I deserve a promotion and therefore I got promoted because I applied and I got promoted and I'm now part of the police division, the narcotics police division. Kids selling drugs, yeah, bamboozled. So basically we got a tip that Sweet Cheeks, this is Sweet Cheeks in jail, Sweet Cheeks has we got a tip that Sweet Cheeks has a tip regarding Death Angel. The guy who's really bad, really bad guy. And we are going to use the information that she provides us with to find Death Angel, arrest Death Angel, and win the game. I think that's pretty much what we're, I think that's what we're gonna do. I think that's, I think that's where we left off, right? Did I miss anything else? We, we were driving, we went to the police station, we got the tip, we went to Sweet Cheeks, and for some reason the safe file is called Bye. I don't know why it's called Bye, but it's called Bye. Sounds right? Okay, good, great. I'm gonna switch back to our other song. It's exactly the same. Oh, it's because we were already listening to Police Quest song. Hold on, Police Quest 3 song. Oh, come here, give us to overread. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Chameleon. Oh, my turn. Have fun with exercising. Pretty sure it's because you were done with Police Quest for the week. Oh, right. I was mad. Why did I rage quit? I rage quit for some reason. I was like, I can't handle this. I'm done. But I don't remember why. Okay, let's turn this down. Put the music on. You left off trying to get her to help you? Yeah, and she was being really annoying, wasn't she? Let's talk to her. Hey! Can you guys see okay? Everything good? I had to change the screen, so let me know if anything's cut off at any time. Talk to Sweet Cheeks! Oh, please, get me out of this place. Open door. The jailer hollers, get over there, I'll open the door. Oh, all right. It's all coming back to me. I remember now. I was frustrated because... This is a Sierra game. That's the only, that's the main reason. So you want me to, okay, maybe I ask him to open the door. Open door. The jailer hollers, get over there, I'll open the door. <laughs> stand over here, open door. Get over there and I'll open the door. What if I stand right at the door? Get over there and I'll open the door. Get over there and I'll open the door. Get over th Oh, and then this guy is yelling at me. That's all you sidewalk lizards do. Pick on us poor little folks. If you want to pick on something, try running your finger up your nose to about the second knuckle. I only do that in the privacy of my own home. <laughs> Get over there and I'll open the door. Get over there and I'll open the door. Maybe he means this door over here. You need to get closer. Yeah, I think he met, he thinks I'm talking about that door. That's not the door I want to open. You were sent here to enlist Sweet Cheeks and you leave after just a kiss? I didn't mean to leave. Hello? I'm dead. How come it didn't play a song? Where's my song? At least play the end game song. Okay, so I game over it already because I left and the game game over is when you die. 
How come uh, we didn't hear any music though? Is the sound, oh, the sound's off. Well, oh, maybe when I rage quit, I clicked all the buttons on my keyboard. Sometimes I do that. F2, okay. Hello, talk to man. Oh no, here comes more paperwork. Ask man to release prisoner. How can you do that? Release prisoner, release sweet cheeks. Do paperwork. What's a paperwork? Give memo. Give order. What do you want with me? Ask man. Ask man stuff. Man. Man, please. <laughs> Ask about sweet cheeks. Okay. Um, I don't think I can shoot. My gun is in the locker. They don't let you bring guns in here. Yeah, I got kissed last last stream by her. Sweet cheeks kissed me. I don't see any place to get over there and I'll open the door and serve coffee. Hi, Vimexio. Hi, Standard. Yeah, we just started. We left off exactly where we were frustrated before. Talk. No, no talking. No talking. Open jail cell. Chameleons just gifted a sub to everybody in here that doesn't have a sub. Thank you. Enjoy the Anexio. You know the drill by now. Enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Release prisoner. Talk to sweet cheeks. Get me out. Get out. Get out. Okay, hold on. Kiss sweet cheeks. <laughs> Threaten jailers, loved ones. Oh, stop yelling at me. I, I'm i not here for you, okay? I'm here for sweet cheeks. Compliment sweet cheeks. Okay. There's gotta be a way. I just don't know the way, but there's gotta be one. Do paperwork. Hi. Pay bail. Give money. I don't know. I don't know. Um, um, ask about sweet cheeks. <laughs> Hi, Star Controller. Tell him you love him. I love him. You. What's a love? <laughs> what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. What is a baby? <laughs> what is a baby? What is baby? Good question. Compliment hair. What's a compliment? Oh my God. Oh my God. There's gotta be a term. There's gotta be a term. Shout. Shout at man. Negotiate. <laughs> Bree. <laughs> that's a good that's a good name. <laughs> that's a good baby name. Bree. Ah! Okay. Um hi. I'm policeman. Order. Order. Fudge! I really have no idea. Talk to Ben. The jailer greets you with a friendly, well, well, old bonds is loose again. Ask jailer to open door. Open door. But not that one, that one. Open cell. You don't need to open it. Release. Cellmate lady. Release cellmate soulmate. That's funny. No, I would not like help at this time, but if at some point I would like help, I would ask ch chat for help. But right now I do not want any help. Thank you for offering. Release the prisoner. Ask to open the door. <laughs> Okay. 
Drink some water, all right. Water is good. Water is good. I enter the room. Usually when we come here, we, we have a prisoner with us. And then he opens the door to the prisoner. Maybe there's more dialogue I can do with her, but I think we did it all. Talk to her. Please get me out of this place. Give handcuffs. Uh, I don't want to give them away as much as put them on her wrist. No way. <laughs> I totally don't remember the redeemed pat do it on the head. All right. Okay. All right. Pat hoot. Pat hoot does not know the answer. <laughs> and then we'll only give. When I ask for help, chat help, chat always refuses to help me against my will. Toad knows the answer. Toad! He's, he's there. He's close, closed lipped. Ah! Jesus Christ! Holy shit! Why? Why? For what just happened? That was the loudest thing I've ever heard in my entire life! Oh my god! <laughs> Why did I lose? I ran out of time? There's time? There's time? It was so loud. I need to test that somehow. Maybe if I leave. Okay, I reloaded an older save. Oh, you gained 100 cool points. Congratulations. And you redeemed more glasses. Okay. Wow. The game just ended because I was staring at Sweet Cheeks for too long. Oh, Precious, I'm so happy to see you. Oh my gosh, Jim gifted six months to Dr. Evil. Six months! Thanks so much, Jim! I'm just moving this thing. Oh, thanks for the follow. Thanks so much! Holy moly! Dr. Evil, you're in Jim Jail. Jim Jail. JJ. I'm sorry, Sunny, but I got packed, picked up by the Operation Trick Trap. I know you warned me, but I thought the operation was over. I'll do anything to get out. Oh, Sonny, if only I had someone like you to call my own. And she kisses me. Oh, sweet lips, you exclaim. Was that hot or what? I'm sorry, Precious. I just couldn't resist you. Oh, please get me out of this place. When I'll figure when I figure out how to get sweet cheeks out of jail, then Dr. Evil will figure out how to get out of gym jail in six months. Six months time I can do this it's it's something so obvious gonna be very simple very straightforward I need to get her out of jail get her out of jail you just type that win game get her out open door open cell open jail cell you don't need to open it are you sure about that because it seems locked Seems closed. <laughs> Ask about glory. Okay. Um. Open jail cell. Ask man to open jail cell. How can you do that? Release prisoner. Open cell. Oops. No back seating, please. Talk to man. Ask man about prisoner. Ask about prisoner. Talk about prisoner. Hello. Okay. Doors are so very OP in this game. There's so many like open the door to the car, close the, you have to close the door to the car, otherwise your car gets stolen. You have to put your gun in the in the locker. You can't open this door. You have to lock your locker back at the police station. You have to shower every time you open your locker. If I gift a sub, then the person you gift it to is in my jail until the gift sub is over. Yes. Especially if it's a long-term jail. Jim gifted six months to Dr. Evil, which is long-term six months jail sentence. Sleepy Owl was in jail for 12 months. Yeah, it was very, very tough times. And you have to watch the channel against your will. It's a very fun jail where you have to watch my stream. <laughs> Why not 
Zero, hello! Thanks for the tier three! Oh, I think this is the one where you need to get the sand sack from the secret entrance to the thief skill. Get sand sack. Push grave. Pull grave. Throw rock. Throw rock. Thanks, non zero. <laughs> Thank you for the seven months. Hi, Gorker. Oh, I tried. I tried. Maybe I just give up. It's gonna be so easy. If I'm a police officer and I go to jail and I want to get someone out of jail, maybe I don't have to get her out of jail. Well, let's assume we do. Look at them legs, they're amazing. Look at them legs. Look at them legs, they're amazing. Oh, Hi, Adrian. Oh. Thanks for the five, five, five. Oh, the sound's off again. Okay, sound on. Give up, give up. <laughs> Chat, no back seating. You can give guesses if they're very, very silly, like give up or retire. Those are the kind of suggestions you can say in chat. You cannot say suggestions that are real because I want to try to figure out on my own. If you, if I ask chat specifically, then you can tell me. But for now, please don't tell me anything. Give back to the community. <laughs> Bake a cake with a file in it. Ooh, that's a fun one. Bake a cake with an earbud in it. Execute order 66. Thanks for the level three hype train. It's very, very, very fun. Very fun today. Also distracting. Oh, thanks, Sleepy Owl. I wonder how many people watch my stream and just look up the answer. I feel like it's a very high percentage because I'm just so, it's so frustrating to watch me be stuck for a long time. I think that most people look up the walkthrough because it's just so frustrating. Tell the game to sub to you, you'll force it to let you in. Sub to me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to use your Twitch Prime, Sierra. Turn it off and turn it on again. Go home and rethink your life every day. Sir, release the Kraken. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe I have to ask her more questions. Maybe you don't release her at all. Ask questions. Ask her about Death Angel. How can you do that? Ask about Death Angel. Who is Death Angel? Death Angel. Talk to Sweet Cheeks. Get me out of this place. No. <laughs> Come. Uh... Uh, the death angel, the death angel. Ask about drugs. Ask about drug dealer. Talk to her. Talk, talk to her. I can't get you out. I don't know how. <laughs> I can't. I can't get you out, sweet cheeks. You're stuck here forever because I don't know how to open doors, all right? So while you're in there, just tell me the answer. Tell me about death angel. Ask about, what was it, a casino? Talk about casino. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Sir Tilly, hello. Hi. Uh, I could just golden eye through the bars. That's a good point, King Darian. Thinking with your head or Terminator through the bars. Enter. Enter cell. Just do that yourself. Jerk. Give key. Hey, thanks a lot, but now you'll never get it back. What? Did I give her my car keys? I gave her my car keys. I gave her my car keys. <laughs> oh, what a little butt! 
Give me my keys back. She took my car keys. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> Ask for keys back. Do you like how they don't even game over you? They just let you deal with the consequences of your actions. I'm soft locked now. This is the second no soft lock. Keys back, Susan, police quest. Once you give things away in this game, it's game over. Give briefcase. Hey, thanks a lot, but now you'll never get it back. Give radio extender. Hey, thanks a lot, but now you'll never get it back. Give handcuffs. Give away your handcuffs? No way. Why didn't you say that for the other items that I gave away? Give ammunition. I lost. I lost the game. <laughs> I failed. Okay. Cool. All right. I think I ran out of time. I don't even think it was mad because of the ammunition. I think I ran out of time. <laughs> she threw the bullets at me. I got shot. Give ammunition. Yeah, she just takes it. A chief Whipplestick would say a cop without ammo is like a bullet without powder. You game over when you give ammunition. Interesting. I've learned a lot today. I've learned a lot. Okay, let me just see what it says again when I leave. It says... Dun, 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 dun. You were sent here to enlist sweet cheeks and you leave after just a kiss. Enlist. Okay, let's try that. Enlist sweet cheeks. The word you just used. You just used it. Recruit her. Give immunity. <laughs> Read Miranda rights. That's the only thing I'm good at. Oh my god. That's pretty rude to say about a nice lady who just kissed you. It's very cheeky. Very cheeky game. This is the hardest part of the game so far. Very difficult part of the game. How do you so consistently manage these things? I'm very good at doing exactly what the game doesn't want you to do. It's like, you know, how the when you lose something, it's in the last place you look, yada, yada, yada. I am so good at coming up with every possible solution that Sierra has created, except for the right solution. I should have been a Sierra game tester. If I was alive in 1987 and old enough, I would do it. I need to enlist her, not list her. I tried to throw rocks, Matt D. They hadn't invented rocks in this game yet. Shame. It's a shame. He just stares at me. See how this guy follows me? Who are you looking at, bud? She doesn't talk to me anymore. Like, she doesn't let me speak. Open gate. Open cell door. Push button? Maybe there's a button. Button mechanic mechanic me mechanized. Hey pig shouts the prisoner. If you were on my side of these bars, I'd kick your mojo up between your shoulders. From behind the bars that are verbally assaulted. You are verbally assaulted. That's all you sidewalk lizards do. Pick uh, you pick on us. Poor folks. I already read this. Hey man, let me out of here. I didn't know it was illegal to copy discs. This guy's in jail for piracy! <laughs> You wouldn't download a car. No. You sec. My, what a filthy mind you have. Oh my God. Don't copy that floppy. <laughs> release man. Maybe I can release him. Kiss man. Forget that lady. Sweet Cheeks is overrated. I'm with this guy now. I would, I would also download a car for the record. I would download a million cars. I would download a house. I would download a car. I would download food. I would download movies, TV, games, a bed. I just I looked over there, a wall, walls, 
more RAM. Hi, I was a lover. Water. I would download everything. <laughs> a pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Yes. Our Navy. Also, pirating is wrong and illegal. Don't do it. But also a car, though? <laughs> Download a baby. <laughs> it was possible. I mean, it seems more practical than the alternative. Holding it around for nine months. If you could just download one? Oh my god. Download that! Why are you breaking a dude out of jail? We're breaking the lady out of jail, Mrs. Sweet Cheeks, because she has inside information with regards to the Death Angel, famous drug dealer, murderer guy, who we're trying to kill and, well, not kill, arrest. We're trying to arrest him, and he's, oops, he is um, somewhere, and she's supposed to help us go undercover, but she just says get out, and then I try to get her out, but I can't. Because that brown haired dude over there is not being very helpful. So that's the, that's pretty much where we're at right now. Oh, thanks for the hydrate. I have made no progress in half an hour. Well, I've made progress. I've game over it like three different ways. So in some ways that's progress. In other ways, it's not. But if you think about it, it's like every failure is one step closer to success. Maybe. Or giving up. <laughs> Uninstalling. Changing career paths. Hi! How could there- how many possibilities could there be? She's in jail. I need her to be out of jail. I need to enlist her. Ask her to join you. Give her deal. Make a deal. Let's make a deal. Give immunity. Ask about drugs. Tell her mission. Give mission. Join me and together we will rule the galaxy as father and son. Talk to you, man. Here comes more paperwork, and then when I say, give paperwork, the game says, what's a paperwork? Fill out paperwork. Ask for lady. Ask for girl. Ask for prisoner. Ask about prisoner. No! I have, a, I have a newspaper, I have ammunition, I have Cadillac keys, I have a handcuff, I have briefcase. Open briefcase. Now, exclamation mark, question mark? Yeah. I'm trying to enlist her. I'm trying so hard. This is the hardest puzzle in the game so far. We are like several, several, several hours into the game. I'm at 136 points. I, I don't know what she wants. What does she want? How- who does- what does the game want? Roberta! In jail, if I was a cop and I wanted someone out of jail, I would just like open the door. Just open up the jail. Hey, open it up. Open it up. Over there. Do it. What do you mean, out of ten? Ah! Roberta <laughs> can't help you now. Do dance. Dance. Damn it! You can't even dance! This is a very difficult game, yeah. But you are seeing the most difficult puzzle of the game so far. So really, it's not that difficult. Well, it is very difficult. But we made it all the way here until now. Good, well done, kind of. This is a Sierra game, yes. Maybe I click it. We don't look. We haven't looked in a while. The jail is drab and depressing. The only reason the jailer works here is the vast variety of lifestyles that pass through. Look at sweet cheeks. You see nothing special. That is rude. Look at cell. Look at man. Look at door. 
look at jail door. If if every cop that wanted to be a cop had to play this game, there would be less cops. <laughs> Look at the legs, they're amazing. Thanks for the five five five. I I feel <laughs> thank you so much, Mr. T. Look at them legs. Look at them legs. I feel like this should be a very important part of um, being a policeman. Also, if you want to be an astronaut, you have to play Space Quest. And if you want to be a king, you have to play King's Quest. And peace will be brought to the world. Okay. 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 I know the answer. The answer is that I need sweet cheeks. What if I just like bring her to my car? Bring to car. What's a bring? Come to my car. Car. <laughs> Last time we got stuck in this game is because I was doing the wrong vocabulary because I wasn't yelling what I wanted. Get out. Get out to car. Just do that yourself. Like instead of using action verbs in this game, they want you to just say things. So I will say, follow me. Not you, chat. Come with me. <sighs> Invite to car. Give newspaper. Hey, thanks a lot, but now you'll never get it back. She stole my newspaper. What a bee. Oh, standard gift is sub to Sweet Cheeks. Oh, enjoy your free sub, Sweet Cheeks. Can I have my newspaper back? <laughs> Thank you for the sub. Thanks, standard. Thanks. Um, please stop suggesting physical violence against Sweet Cheeks. She has done nothing wrong. She's just in jail. No big deal. It's me who has the problem, if anyone. She's in standard jail for a month. No, I need her, though. I need her to join my under mission operation. Join operation. Tell about operation. Okay, I have a question, chat. So frustrating. Uh... <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Listen carefully. Okay. Oh, hi, Tekin. Perfect timing. We've made a lot of progress since you were here last. My question, very specific question. Listen carefully. Does the answer to this puzzle involve Sweet Cheeks leaving the cell? It's a yes or no question. Answer with a yes or a no. Thanks, Signal. Thanks for gifting us up to Sunny. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yes. No. I have no idea. Ask again later. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. What's a cell? I hate you all. Ah, this is going great. That's a tough yes or no. Thank you, Signal. Thank you. It's a tough question to answer yes or no. Okay. Does the answer involve that man on the right? That's another yes or no question. Doesn't involve this dude. Okay. Okay, that's that's helpful. Does it involve this dude on the left who berates me? No. Okay. So we've got sweet cheeks who may or may not leave her cell and nobody else. Just me and you, baby. Kiss her. Kiss her again. And I'm not soft locked, right? I can use this save file, I'm assuming. You would tell me if I was soft locked. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that helps. Kind of. <laughs> tell about mission. Tell about. What's that guy's name? I forget. Boss. Give info. Give money. Give information. 
talk to Sweet Cheeks. She says, oh, please get me out of this place. Get her out. Open door. Jailer Hollers, get over there. I'll open the door. That's not the right door. You're talking about a different door, I think. Unlock door. How can you do that? I don't know. Open door. Tell lady. I don't know. 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 Ask about... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! If this was 1987, I would call Sierra and I would use my one minute to say, who do you think you are? <laughs> and it would cost two dollars and I would hang up and I would say, who the who do you think you are? How dare you? And then I would hang up the phone. And report them to the Better Business Bureau. I would report them to the BBB for abuse. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Girl in cell, I need to get her out. I'm a cop and I need to get her out. And I'm wearing regular clothes and I need to release her. And she has information, but she won't give me any other information. Bribe her. I don't know. I don't have any money. I'm just a dumb cop with no money. What kind of cop has no money? Use handcuffs on sweet cheeks. The reason I'm thinking handcuffs is because the reverse, the way we got people in the cell is by handcuffing them and then unhandcuffing them and then leading them into the cell and the cell closed. So if I backwards reverse this, then I say, <laughs> what kind of cop tries to bribe people in jail? One's pushed to the brink of desperation, all right? I don't think the indoctrination manual has any information about a situation like this. Does it, chat? Ones <laughs> who don't play by the book. Sweet cheeks! Sweet cheeks. Arrest her. It's not necessary at this time. Arrest. Unarrest. <laughs> um. You are free. Free her. Free. Free her from her imprisonment. Oh my god. I'm going to I'm going to die. This is the end of me. I'm, you're double arrested. I'll double arrest you. Double arrest her. Send her to Omega jail. Oh, put her in your pocket. <laughs> LucasArts game? This is Sierra, not LucasArts. If this was LucasArts, it would be pick up, girl. And then she would go in your inventory. And then you would go into your car and then take her out. <sighs> Speaking of LucasArts, we're going to play Monkey Island in a couple weeks. And I'm going to put so many things in my pocket. It's going to be great. I died to ask her about Loom. I feel like I did. I'm pretty sure I did ask her about Loom last stream. Ah! Scream! Quit game! I don't know. Uninstall game. Complain to Sierra. Call Sierra. Get hint. Win game. I have played Monkey Island, yeah. It's our first time ever play replaying a point and click. It was a couple years ago, I already forget a lot of it, but we're replaying Monkey Island because the new Monkey Island is coming out. So we're gonna be playing the new Monkey Island. Very first time I've ever replayed a game, but I think it's worth it because Monkey Island's great. Use numpad. <laughs> I already tried to ask for Sansac. She said, I don't have one, get wrecked. Damn it! Okay! Fudge! 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 Ow. <laughs> fudge! Uh,
there is a new Maki Island. Yeah, it's very exciting. So exciting. Okay, can you give me a hint, chat? I concede. I concede to this stupid dear Ken Williams. How dare you? I've gone to the I've gone past the point of frustration to the point of I have no idea. The night stick. Oh my god, it probably is the night stick. What do you need her for information, I think. I don't know, I was sent on a mission to like go undercover, I think, and Sweet Cheeks has information, but she won't talk to me. I don't know. I've tried talk and ask like a million different ways. But she's so frustrating. All she says is get me out of jail, get me out of jail. You have to ask her for something that's very specific. God damn it. I asked her about the casino. Um, I wish I remembered the dialogue that I had with my boss who told me to come here, but I don't remember why I'm here. <laughs> I, it was like involving the casino and involving Death Angel and going undercover, I think, and she has information, but I don't remember what. I did, I tried to ask her about Casino. The game doesn't give you any feedback. Um, I don't remember. I don't know what the keyword is. I think you're gonna have to just tell me, chat. Hard not to say too much. Just, just tell me. What is this painful, specific droplet of information that I was supposed to remember from last week that I didn't write down? Oh, it was a hotel. There's a casino in the hotel. Ask for help? I'm, I'm sickened. I'm sickened. <laughs> oh, please tell me what to do. That, is that the answer? Hello, have you done it? Ask for help with operation? Oh, please tell me what to do. Help with operation? Oh, Sunny, I'll help you do anything. Thank you so much. Oh, please tell me what to do. Ashamed. You feel as though you should never play a Sierra game ever again, and you wonder if you should uninstall them all from your computer. You explain the arrangements with Sweet Cheeks' immediate release to her. Sweet Cheeks, as soon as you're released, I want you to go to the police station for a meeting with Lieutenant Morgan. <laughs> okay, now can I leave now? Hey, Sonny, says the jailer in a loud voice. You've been messing with my female prisoners, or did you just start wearing lipstick today? Lieutenant Morgan just called. He's sending a car over for Sweet Cheeks. Okay. Bye. <laughs> God. Open locker. Get gun. Close locker. I'm leaving now. I'd rather get in a car wreck than be in that jail any longer. <laughs> Shoot self in foot. Retire early. Sweet Cheeks would be willing to help you establish your cover at the hotel. Go over to the jail and see if she'll help you with the hotel operation. When you get back, I'll hold a briefing on the operation. I did ask about the operation. I told you, and I've said this for every single Sierra game, even the ones that I love the most, and I'm really enjoying this one, they always have one puzzle that is just terrible that is just written so poorly. That is awful, 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 awful. The rest of the game could be like 10 out of 10 and then you get stuck on one puzzle that you're just like, Sierra, why? What did you, why did you do this to yourself? I don't think there's one, I can't think of any Sierra game that doesn't have that problem. Even the later ones. What was the phrase? Um, 
ask for help with the operation, something like that. Ask for help with operation. Respond to Cotton Cove. Officers on scene need ID of 187 victim. What? No, oh, help with operation. There you go. No asking. Help with operation. King's Quest 6 is professional, not here otherwise. It had its own thing, isn't that? I mean, King's Quest 6 is like one of the best ones for sure. But it also has like, isn't that the one with a big, huge desert? Yeah, it's the worst puzzle. No other wording will work and the other wording doesn't even give you a hint. Okay. Um, I'm a little bit busy, but all right. So respond to Cotton Cove officers on scene need ID of 187 victim. What is 187? I will tell you by looking at my manual. One second. I don't know if it's here, but let's see. It could just be something random. I don't think it's here. I'm reading the manual. I don't think so. it doesn't really matter. Cotton Cove. Where is Cotton Cove is the most important, more important question. Let me just save the game. To Cotton Cove. I died. <laughs> um, there seems to be too many car. There's too many cars. That's it. Wait, what? Respond code two. What's code two? Use radio. You key your radio. 83 Nora 10 parked on 7th Street. Why is this purple car following me? And how do I put my blinkers on again? F10, F5, F2, F3, F6, F7, F8, F9, F11, F1, F10, <laughs> F F10, it's not working. Fudge! For some reason it's not working. Maybe you can't, oh, it is working. But they're not going, beep beep. Oh, because I'm in a regular human car. Oh, disgusting. Okay, I'm a, okay, all right. I forgot. How come my regular human car doesn't have little boop boops on it? You know, you take them out and you put them on the top and then you're like boop boop. Cotton Cove, should I look at the map? Let's look at the map. Oops. I just clicked the wrong button. Oh, good thing it didn't work. Okay, let's see if that's a street. Palm, oak, fig, peach, rose, lily, poppy. Great. City Park, Clearwater Drive. I don't see anything by the name of Cotton Cove. River Road, rose, peach, fig, oak, palm. Okay. Maybe it's a bar or something. Use radio. Parked on 7th Street. What do you want for... I went through the red light. All right. Well, it's very tricky with these old games. Sometimes the game does give you a, a clue as to what you're supposed to do, but it never repeats it ever again. And if you, if you even hesitate, if you even go to take a lunch break, you've already forgotten what the very specific clue is which renders it very difficult. And I think all of these old games have that kind of thing. Because it's happened to me a few times where I'm like, I'm stuck on a puzzle and chat's like, the game told you exactly what to do. And I'm like, that was 50 hours ago. How am I supposed to remember this random NPC's dialogue? But here we go. I, I, you know, but you can't write everything in your notebook. You can't know that the word help is a clue unless you already know the answer. Do, do you guys know where Cotton Cove is? Is it a cove? And is it cotton? <laughs> Anybody? Yes? Okay, where is it? What is Cotton Cove? You know where it is. Is it... Uh, over there? Oh, bottom right? Okay. All right. I'm on the right. Oh my god, I almost died. Your river. Okay. I'm top right right now. I don't remember the dialogue from five days ago. When you give birth, if the doctor asks you if you're finding it difficult, just yell, is this nothing? I played Khalees Quest. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was gonna say. Oh, Cotton Cove. 
I'm go I'm working on it. I have been practicing my patience and my breathing techniques and my oh there it is and my resilience to extremely frustrating situations by playing police quest <laughs> police quest park okay all right here we go open door get out close door hi good to see you sunny he says we've got a ripe one here with no id is this the dude you arrested since you're the guy who booked him we hope you can identify him Look at man. The policeman stands near a dead body. No, not you. Look at body. The man, the body is covered by a blanket. Move blanket. You lift the white blanket and examine the swollen body. It resembles Marvin Hoffman. However, you can't be sure. I can't be sure. Thanks for the follow. Talk to, oh my God, is that, is that our friend? That's our friend, uh, John or whatever. Talk to John. Talk to Jim. Talk to man. <laughs> well, Sonny says, Steve, is this Marvin Hoffman or not? I don't know. Talk to man. Maybe. Hi, hi, Alien. It's going great. I don't know. I can't. I can't be sure. Oh, look at nipple. The soggy shirt peels slowly from his chest. Above his left nipple, you smell the Lord. <laughs> That's so funny. I've been looking at nipples, attempting to look at nipples the whole game. And then finally, it worked. It worked. The whole game, I was been trying to do it and I almost forgot. <laughs> and people just tuning in are like, why is she looking at a dead man's nipple? What is this channel? I did it. It could have been bicep. It could have been thigh. It could have been foot. It could have been any number of places. And they put it, Sierra wanted me to type look at nipple. Free the nipple. Uh, yes. How can you do that? Talk to a man. Are you going to inform dispatch? Ask Steve. Yeah. Use radio. You hear the radio. Dispatch. This is 83 Nora 10. Report positive ID on body of one Harvin Kaufman. 10 8 Cotton Cove. Your radio crackles. 10 4 83 Nora 10. Dispatch. Copies 10 22 APB Marvin Hoffman. Thanks, Sonny. Be advised, coroner is en route. 10 19 per Lieutenant Morgan. Neato. Neato. Talk to man again. Thanks for your help, says Steve. What about this guy, though? What, what, his name's John, right? The guy who's going through a divorce, and it was his birthday yesterday, and he's having a really tough time. Can I go in the lake? Swim! The water is nice about this time of year, but swimming is deadly. I drowned. <laughs> You can drown in this game, did you know? I know now. This I learned that today. <laughs> Two dead bodies. Can anybody ID this noob looking guy? <laughs> it looks exactly like when you drown in King's Quest. I know that animation very well. Thanks for your help. Okay, bye. Why are you following me? Get away. Are you okay? Talk to man. Okay, bye. Open door. Get in. Close door. Drive. Bye. Drowning nipples. The game has everything you could want from a video game. Oh my god. We finally solved the nipple mystery. So then... So Death Angel then doesn't have a death a, a, a tattoo above his nipple unless they have matching tattoos. What am I doing now? Oh, I think I go here. Park. Open door. Get out. 
Closed door. Oh my god, I can never spell close first try. I think I go here. Hi, Magnus. Hello. Thanks. I hope you had a good weekend. Hello, I am here reporting for duty. Oh! Sweet cheeks! And my other girlfriend! Oh, this is awkward. Sunny, step over to my desk. Hi. I have devised a plan to infiltrate the gambling scene at the Hotel Del Foria, Lieutenant Morgan begins. Okay. Infl I'm trying to pay attention to every word he says in case we get stuck again in the future. Devised a plan to infiltrate the gambling scene. All right. Sunny, I want you to check. <laughs> check into the hotel under the name Jimmy Lee Bankston. Hold your horses. I have to write this down. Okay, this game cannot be trusted anymore. Every verb is important. What is all these? What are these notes? I don't even know what they mean. Jesse Baines. Flower nipple tattoo. I already solved that. Okay, new notepad. Check. Hi, BDX. Hello. Check in to hotel. Name. Jimmy Lee. Bankston. You can just call me like John Smith or something. Bankston. Meet Sweet Cheeks in the Hotel Cocktail Lounge. Okay. Roger that. 10 4. And the chief calls her Sweet Cheeks. That's her name. First name Sweet, last name Cheeks. Signal Sweet Cheeks that you're ready to begin the operation by ordering a drink. Let me write this down. Order drink. She'll pretend to recognize you as Whitey, an old friend recently released from prison. She'll introduce you to bartender Woody Roberts, whom we believe is the contact man for the backroom hustle. Okay. Just dropped a bunch of stuff. All right. You'll be carrying a large sum of money in marked bills, of course, and will pretend to be eager for action. Be eager. These are my notes. Be eager for action. I'm always eager for action. Lieutenant Morgan concludes, since Laura developed your disguise, I'll let her fill you in on its details. Those weren't the details? Oh, the disguise. Okay. Hi, Laura. I don't even know this girl. I'm sorry. Sunny, I've picked out a white suit for you, Laura says. And by the way, we've decided your hair must be bleached. Okay. You'll walk with the aid of this special cane. Its handle is really a detachable 22 caliber Magnum Derringer. We're James Bond or Mission Impossible. I don't know. When the need arises, you will carry a voice transmitter disguised as a plain looking ballpoint pen. Oh my God, this is getting complicated. Special cane, which is a gun. Is that a gun? A, what's a Magnum Derringer? That's a gun, right? 22 caliber Magnum Derringer. Okay. And then I will carry a transmitter that disguises as a pen. Cane plus pen. I spelled cane wrong in my notes. It's really bad. Okay, there. Okay. I picked up these supplies at the beauty shop. Take this bottle of bleach cream activator into the shower and bleach your hair. I love taking showers in this game. It's the best part. It's all I have, concludes Laura. Sweet Cheeks, do you have anything to add? Oh, she's going to tell me something important. In an excited voice, Sweet Cheeks says, Oh, Sunny, I'm so happy I get to work with you. Why, it almost brings a tear to my eye. I'm looking forward to spending tonight working with you at the Hotel Del Foria, my precious. <laughs> she's like Schmeagol. She winks at you. My precious. Okay. Sweet Cheeks says Lieutenant Morgan, why don't you head on over to the hotel? Sunny will follow shortly. They animated... They... There's like three pixels in this game and they just spent two of them animating her chest to bounce. Yes, I saw the boobs physics. There's like literally three pixels in the game. Instead of adding vocabulary to the last scene, they spent crucial hours animating that. <laughs> Laura? No, nothing. Nothing for Laura. 
Lieutenant Morgan instructs you, Sunny, after you bleach your hair and change clothes, report back to me. I have more instructions. Oh my god. Okay. Great. Priorities. They ran out of time after they, they did sweet cheeks. Hello? Sergeant Dooley, his voice cracking, interrupts the meeting. It is my regretful duty to inform you that I've just received a phone call from Jack Cobb. His daughter, Kathy, just died without ever regaining consciousness. Oh my god, the Jack drama. Also, I forgot his name was Jack. <laughs> I called him John. Jack! Sorry, Jack. Effective immediately. Jack is on extended family leave. Jack's taking this really hard. His brother is staying with him and his, he requests no visitors. I'm sure our sympathy goes out to Jack in his time of need. And on his birthday. Hatred wells up inside you. You vow revenge for Kathy's senseless death by tracking down the dope world animals responsible. <laughs> Sonny, the sooner you get into the scene at the Hotel Del Foria, the sooner we can neutralize those blood suckers. Okay. Let me just go bleach my hair. <laughs> That's what, time is of the essence. We must seek revenge as soon as possible. First, bleach your hair in the shower. Those of you who weren't here before, uh, there's a guy named Jack. It was his birthday. He's going through a divorce. He has a bit of a drug problem. His daughter just died from drugs, uh, and uh, he's got a weird face. So there's that. Put away clothes. Leave clothes. Drop clothes. Close locker. Wait, do I have the hair bleach? On my person, with my towel, I have a hair radio extender, hair bleach, the newspaper, and my car keys somehow in this towel right now. Use hair bleach. What would you do with it? What do you think I would do with hair bleach? Use bleach. Bleach hair. Put bleach on hair. You shouldn't have done that. What do you freaking mean you shouldn't have done that? What do you mean? Why? <laughs> it doesn't even tell you why. It just says, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. I think it's because the shower wasn't running. That's my best guess. I bleached. I didn't eat it. I put it on my hair. I thought. <laughs> okay. Reload. Cool. Don't mess with it. Don't. <laughs> I shouldn't have messed with it. I messed with it and I shouldn't have. Thanks, Thanasonian. I didn't eat my hair. I don't want to talk to this guy. I don't want to talk to anyone. Bye, Anna. I don't have time to talk. Open locker. Undress. Close locker. Okay, let's try this way. Turn on shower. There's nothing like a nice hot shower. Use bleach. You carefully pour the bleach on your hair. Now what? I don't know. Wash hair. Your hair is wet. <laughs> the amount of time the developers spend in this game, like developing minute details regarding the shower but not anything else. Okay, so I use bleach again? Oh God. Carefully pour the bleach on your hair. Now what? Wash hair. Your hair is wet. Turn off shower. Is my hair done? Do I look good? Did I do it? Use bleach. That would be best done in the shower. That's what I did. <laughs> My hair looks the same. You shower. Turn on shower. Use bleach. Carefully pour the bleach on your hair. Now what? Wait. Maybe you wait. This could be a waiting puzzle. Sierra loves waiting puzzles. I hate them. 
but with bleach in real life, you put it on, you wait. Everybody knows. You also don't go in the shower, but maybe this game's just dumb. It doesn't know how to bleach works. <laughs> you have to wait. You have to wait until it gets real itchy and your hair starts falling out. Look at hair. You see nothing special. Rude. You pass out because of the bleach fumes. Wash body. How can you do that? Wash. Shower is on. Maybe it doesn't dye your hair. Maybe I did it. Use bleach. Now what? Rinse bleach. How can you do that? Use water. Use bleach with water. Wash hair. Bleach hair. Bleach hair. All right, turn off shower. I think I did it. I'm now blonde. You just can't see it. Open locker. Get clothes. <laughs> you have your orders now. Get with the plan and bleach your hair. Okay, it didn't work. Close locker. Thank you, video game, for telling me. Chat was trying to convince me that my hair was bleached and that the game just doesn't have enough colors in it. Use shower. Turn on shower. Use bleach. Turn on bleach. Rub bleach. <laughs> no back seating, chat. No back seating. Yeah, the shower, chat, the shower has to be on because, listen, look, use bleach. You carefully pour the bleach on your hair. Now what? The game is very specific that I have poured the bleach on my hair. Wait for bleach. Bleach hair. I've done it. I've bleached it. So... And if you do it over here, bleach hair, that would be best done in the shower. So I'm now in the shower, and then I bleach my hair, and it's in my hair, and I wait. Be blonde. Your lieutenant gave obvious hints. My lieutenant is a moron. <laughs> he said bleach my hair, and they, it said, okay, hold on, look at bleach. Just wet and rinse. Rinse hair. Good idea. With great anticipation, you carefully rinse the bleach from your hair. I did that already before, and then it said your hair was wet. At last, you'll find out if blondes really have more fun. I'm blonde now. It's it, before I had the wet hair already. Turn off shower. I had to use the word rinse. And I'm, I'm actually blonde though. And I look like a Space Quest guy. Get clothes. Get briefcase. You don't need it for this operation? My briefcase? My, no my notebook's in there. I can't win an operation without my notebook. Get gun. No? All right, close door. How wonderful, 15 years of service have come to this, wearing a pimp suit to meet a hooker. I shouldn't have said that. Now that's professional advancement. Wouldn't your mommy be proud? Are you serious right now, Sierra? Seriously? Seriously? Woo wee, looky what we got here, last Jefferson. Shut up, Jefferson, okay? I'll shoot you with my cane. I have to save. <laughs> I'm now blonde is the title of this save file. Okay, cool. Um, that's all right. I'm very undercover. I'm very blonde. No one will ever recognize me. Remember that show Pimp My Ride? Oh wait, I had to go talk to this guy. Open door. Come over to my desk. I have some things to discuss with you. Hey, I am now no longer Sunny. I am a blonde guy. 
After you infiltrate the illegal gambling activities at the hotel, contact me. I'll send over a team of detectives to serve as your backups. Okay. This envelope contains $1,000 in marked $100 bills. Okay, hold on, hold on. So, check into hotel. Jimmy Lee 13... Oh, Bankston. I was like, why does it say 13? That's the letter B. Order drink. B. Eager. Special cane and pen. These notes are terrible. I wrote them five minutes ago. Call... I think this guy's name's Dooley, but that could be the other guy. For backup. Okay. I could just I could just leave with my thousand dollars. Use your head, Sonny, and don't forget we want Mr. Big. Just then the office intercom squelches. Lieutenant Morgan. Oh, this is Morgan. Call Morgan. Homicide Detective Oscar Hamilton Online 3. You patiently wait while Morgan grumbles on the phone. When the conversation ends, Morgan relates Hamilton's comments on the floater found this morning at Cotton Cove. Sonny, it seems that Hoffman slash Tacelli was shot execution style before he decided to take his little swim. It looks like you're walking right into the dragon's lair at the Hotel Dolphoria. Be careful, boy! All right, well, that's it here, Morgan says. Now go meet Sweet Cheeks and get this campaign rolling. Okay, campaign begins. I look ridiculous. I should have taken my Corvette. Sucks, oh, you'd better return that radio extender. It makes an unsightly bulge in your trousers. Oh my God. I would have absolutely hated this so much if I was playing. My minimal knowledge on hair bleach would have led me astray. In real life, bleach doesn't work like that. This is a made up fictional bleach. So it's not your fault and it's not my fault. Give, oh no, no, don't give it to that guy. If you give it to that guy, you get soft locked. Return radio extender, I almost messed up. You return your radio extender to the recharge stand. If you give your radio extender to that guy, he takes it forever and then you lose the game. Now I can leave. Do, 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 do. But you always have to do an inspection of your vehicle as per the indoctrination manual of 1987. Even if you're not a cop, but a very handsome man in a nice suit. Open door. Get in. Close door. Drive. Fuck! <laughs> I forgot which way I was facing. Again! Do you have the name you're supposed to use? Yes, I wrote it down. Jimmy Lee Bankston. The driving is really hard. Return radio extender. You bleach, you put the bleach in and then you leave it and then you wash it out later. This is like be in the shower, put the bleach in and and then rinse it. I don't know. It's just bonkers. This game's bonkers. <laughs> I will enter the bar and I will say, I just want everyone to know I'm not a cop. I'm not a policeman. I am. Look at my cane. Could I be a policeman? No. Get in. Get in. Close door. Drive. We save again because driving is so difficult. I don't crash this time. Now, the hotel, I recall, I think, is up this way somewhere? We went there once. It was really cool beans. It's not that. Is that the hotel? Oh my god, I almost went through a red light, saved by, by the bell. Hey, Bill Dickabetso, hello! Ah! I went through the red light! Thank you for the 26 months. I don't know. I thought it was green. I wasn't looking. I thought it was green. Thanks so much. <laughs> I do practice. How's it going? Oh boy. Oh boy. Would a cop have a pimp suit and le bleached hair? I think not. Exactly. Exactly. I think that that big. Oh, I lost it. I think that big building with the pool was the hotel. I'm pretty sure. 
I can drive on whatever side of the road I want. I'm a police officer. Okay, this is where it gets real spicy because I don't use a numpad. That was wrong. That was also wrong. <laughs> Open door. Get out. Close the door. Who needs a numpad? Not me! Numpads are for loser heads. And slow motion is for loser heads. You have to abide by traffic rules. Yeah, scold. If you go through the red light, it game overs you. It's really annoying. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, you can cheat with page up and page down, but that's cheating. Okay. Wait, I'm supposed to check into the hotel. Ring bell. Ready for this? I'm going to ace this part. I took such good notes. Good day, sir, says the desk clerk in his best plastic voice. How may I help you? Check in. We have a vacancy in room 204 on the second floor. All our rooms are very clean and nicely furnished with telephones and queen-sized beds, says the desk clerk. That will be $100. Give money. Hey, thanks a lot. Now you'll never get it back. Pardon? Did I give him? <laughs> I gave him. Did I give him a thousand dollars? I think I lost the game. I'm pretty sure I gave him all my money. You're supposed to give him a hundred dollars, but I gave him all the money in my inventory, and now he ran away. <laughs> He's retiring. Ring bell. Money? Can I have money? Take money. Give money? Pay money. Reload game. Okay! Round two! <laughs> oh boy. This game is tricky. It's a tricky game. Press bell. Use bell. Touch the freaking bell! Ring bell. How may I help you? Check in. Pay 100. Pay $100. Pay $100. Okay. <laughs> yes. Check in. No one heard you. I want room. Okay. Can I just go check in now? Pay money. You hand the clerk $100. Oh my god. He asks you to fill out the registration card you do under the name of Jimmy Lee Bankston. Thank you very much, sir. Here are your keys. I hope you enjoy your stay. After you fill out the register, the desk clerk says, just take the elevator to the second floor. Your room is out to the right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Checked in. So then I have to order a drink and be eager, but can I just go to my room? Like, I kind of want to check it out. Use elevator. What would you do with it? <laughs> Such philosophical questions. Push button. Which floor number? Oh no. Two? I don't know. I forget. Two. I think it was two. Hi, Kev Larson. My room is 202. Open door. Unlock. Door. <laughs> okay, okay, wait. It was 204. It was 204. It was, it was probably 204. I think. Unlock door. Nice. Oh, what a nice room. Look outside. What's an outside? Look at window. Through the window, you see the pulsating metropolis of Lighten. Okay. Use phone. <laughs> 911. No, I'm not ready. Yeah, I changed my mind. I don't have anyone to call. Okay, I don't have any friends. I was bluffing. 
my character left. Use toilet. You utter a sigh of relief as you expel the 18 cups of coffee that have been wreaking havoc on your bladder. You think more clearly now. Wash hands. Your hands are now clean. I don't get a point for that. I relieve my bowels and wash my hands and I don't get a point. Take bath. You're clean enough for this job. Wow. Rude. Okay. <laughs> Puzzle solved. I don't know why the music got so dramatic. You open the drawers to the dresser and, as expected, find nothing. No, just checking. Just checking. Check for bugs. How can you do that? You know, look around. Do cop things. I don't know. Open drawer. You're not close enough. I am literally... Oh, maybe the other drawers. I'm like touching it. Open drawer. Not close enough. Okay. Yeah, he hadn't peed in days. It was so exciting. -na 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 -na. We also haven't been home in days. We've been working for three days straight. Oh, Jesus. I have to lock the door. Everybody knows. Nice. I locked the door. If you don't lock the door, you probably game over because this game is mean. And last time I didn't lock a door, my car got stolen. Okay. Push. Button. One. What's a one? One. Take a nap. I don't have time for your shenanigans, Sleepy Owl. I have people to save and things to do. Oh, there's Sweet Cheeks. Pretend you don't know her. What'll it be? Order drink. What'll it be? <laughs> Did he say what drink? Coke. Coming right up. Sweet Cheeks pretends she has just noticed you. Whitey, is that you? She shouts. Oh, Whitey, it's so good to see you, says Sweet Cheeks, playing her role to the hilt. It's been such a long time. Come on, Cheeks, you say. Let's sit at that table over there. Hey, what about my Coke? I have to save the game. This is, this is getting really sketchy. I'm gonna save it as Coke. Um, what time? Did I, did I, what did I miss? And what time did you play Police Cops? What do you mean? Like when did I start the entire game? We started today, like an hour and a half ago. Be eager. Special cane plus pen. Call Dooley for backup. Okay. Talk. Oh my god. 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 Here you go, sir. That'll be on the house. Last time we were here, he also gave me a Coke on the house and it was very suspicious. Well, how about it, Sweet Cheeks? The bartender says, are you going to introduce me to your new friend? Woody, I'd like you to meet Jimmy Lee Bankston, but everyone I know calls him Whitey, says Sweet Cheeks. Whitey's a dear old friend that I haven't seen for over a year. She then excuses herself to the powder, to powder her already heavily powdered nose. Bartender asks you what you do for a living. I mean, I'm presently unemployed, just taking it easy, you know, enjoying life and looking for a good time. I just finished doing a little time for embezzlement and I haven't had a chance to land a job yet. This is so <laughs> dumb. There should be a separate game on how to be a criminal because whoever wrote this does not know how. Acting surprised at your slip, you lower your voice and say, Oh, but I'd sure appreciate you keeping that information under your hat, okay? Woody assures you that you can trust him. Oh, she's back. Sweet Cheeks returns. Even after the drinks and your conversation with the bartender, Woody Roberts is tight-lipped about any backroom gambling. Say Sweet Cheeks, you say loudly. How'd you like to go to Vegas with me for the weekend? Sweet Cheeks acts quite excited as she accepts your offer. Uh-huh. Should I shoot him? <laughs> All my notes say is that I have a gun. It says order a drink, and then you have a gun, and then call for backup. So... Sweet Cheeks smiles as she says, God, this is fun. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna save again. Fun, fun, fun. Ask bartender about gambling. No one notices you. 
talk to Sweet Cheeks. I forget what's supposed to happen in this part. Stand up. Just before leaving the cocktail lounge, you ask Sweet Cheeks to remain at the table while you try to get Woody to open up. All right. What little it be? Rum this time. A little bit of Coke, then a little bit of rum. Mix it up in your gut. It's like a real drink. Everybody knows. Her last name is Sweet, I think is her first name. Sweet, last name Cheeks. Here you are, sir, says the bartender. That'll be $5, please. Pay money. You slip a marked hundred from your wallet and hand it to the bartender. Ooh, bribery! Thank you, sir, he says. I'll be right back with your change. No change necessary. How do I type that? Oh, it won't let me type. Keep the change. Keep the change. Keep the change. I can't do anything. I'm in a cutscene. He's coming back. Here's your change, sir. Keep the change. Okay, you do. Me? <laughs> okay, I kept the change. <laughs> That's not what I wanted! Uh, what? <laughs> oh god, give the change! How can you do that? Fuck, tip bartender. No one notices you. Damn it, that didn't work. Order drink. What will it be? <laughs> um, mimosa. <laughs> Martini. Orange juice. Juice. Water. <laughs> I got water. Okay, cool. Awesome. One alcohol. <laughs> One very not suspicious alcohol, please. That'll be- wait, on the house? I can't tip you if you give it to me on the house. Okay, 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 okay. Order alcohol. What'll it be? Alcohol. What's an al- Al- Alcohol. Order alcohol. What'll it be? Alcohol. Vodka. Rum. Rum worked last time. Okay, so we've got what rum. No back seating, chat. Rum. And then this time. He'll keep the change. Here you are. That'll be $5. Pay with tip. Do you think it'll know? No. Pay money. Then there's a whole cutscene. I think you've had enough. I've had water, attempted out juice, rum, and coke. Get, give tip. Pay tip. You slip the bartender a 20 and then it happens. <gasps> In a suddenly soft voice, the bartender asks, Whitey, exactly what are you looking for in the way of a good time? Just about anything, you tell him. But women, gambling, and money top the list. Well, Whitey, there is a little card game in our back room that is available by invitation only. It's pretty serious. It'll cost you 200 just to get into the game. If you think you can handle it, come back a little later with the 200 and I'll see what I can do for you. With your heart pounding, you offer him your thanks and assure him you'll be right back after you finish with Sweet Cheeks. Together? Are we leaving? Okay, we're, we're together now. Come with me, sweetie. I mean, Mrs. Cheeks. <laughs> First button. Two. All right. Uh, bye, Trumpet. See you later. This reminds me of that movie about Tobey Maguire. Molly's Game. I should save. Going to bed with sweet... No. Miss Cheeks. I can't handle the pixels that they put into this game female character. It, it's ridiculous. Unlock door. 
Hi, sweet cheeks. I don't actually want to do anything. I was just, it's just a front. Did you get anywhere with the bartender, precious? I mean, did you get anywhere with the bartender, precious? <laughs> yes. Do you have enough money to carry on, carry you through a gambling session, big boy? I actually have no idea. Because I tipped the guy. Look at money. Oh, I have $870. Yes. Wait, don't rob me, please. Good luck, Sonny. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, uh, go to bed. Just do that yourself. Lie in bed. Consider spreading out on the comfortable looking bed, but the case keeps running through your mind. You'd never be able to rest at a time like this. Exactly. Hi, Chubsy Wubsy. Hello. Kiss her. Oops. Kiss her. That sounds like a good idea, honey, says Sweet Cheeks Marie, but I thought we were on duty. Oh, her name's Sweet Cheeks Marie. Sweet Cheeks Marie. First name Sweet. Middle name Cheeks. Last name Marie. <laughs> She's more professional than me. She's very professional. Hi, Chubsy Wubsy. Thank you for the eight months. Happy Monday. How's your day Would going? you look at this now of party? Did you have a good weekend? I think that's like we waited enough time. I wonder if I should call for backup. He didn't really specify when I call for backup. I don't think it's time yet though. Let's go do some some stuff. Should I lock the door? I probably have to lock the door. This game's impossible. Lock door. All right, here we go. Marie was my father's name. Call me Sweet Cheeks. <laughs> Should I investigate these rooms? Like, what is that room? So sketchy. Open door. Hey, come on, darling, Sweet Cheeks Wines. I may do a lot of things, but stairs ain't one of them. When you've been walking streets as long as I have, you'll use the elevator, too. This is deeply offensive. It's so bad. It's so stupid! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Okay, use elevator. Push button. One. Time to go gamble. Oh, that's nice. I wonder if Sandy Cheeks from SpongeBob's last name is Marie? Probably. I think you should add it to the Wikipedia. Okay, here we go. We're about to win the game. This is very exciting. Hi. What'll it be? Gambling. Coke. <laughs> Just keep ordering Cokes. Lots of Coke, please. All the Coke poundage. Pounds and pounds of Coke, please. One illegal gambling ring, please. That'll be on the house. Ask about gambling. Psst. Psst. Talk to bartender. You must not be all bad, Whitey. Not when you know a cute little number like that, Sweet Cheeks. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Talk to bartender. How much time do I have to wait? It must not be all that bad. He said come back. I already did it. It was very fast. Like 60 seconds. <laughs> I guess the only way is like I keep... I order rum is the only way. Order rum. Rum. He always likes when I order rum. He doesn't care about Cokes. Even though he does give me the Coke on the house. Yeah, the wall is the same color as your skin. Here you are, sir. That'll be $5. Pay money. You slip a mark 100, hand it. He gets the change again. Here's your change. Give tip. Pay tip. When he glances left, then right, he looks you straight in the eyes and whispers, Come back after you ditch the broad and I'll see what I can do. Okay. Okay. All right. Tell Sweet Cheeks to leave. Leave. Leave me. Get out. Go away. Dismissed. <laughs> Okay, push button. Maybe I have to leave her up there. God! 
She's so frustrating. That's Mrs. Cheeks. That's Mrs. Cheeks to you. Oh, thanks, Chameleon. Oh my goodness. Time has been flying today. I'll go get a snack soon after I ditch this beautiful lady. Broad stands for beautiful, romantic, otherwise attractive dudette. <laughs> Uh, okay. You stay here. Stay here. Okay. Oh, honey says Tweet Cheeks. I'm a, I'd be afraid to stay here all alone. Well, too freaking bad. Do it. Stay here. Okay, I have an idea. Did you get anywhere? Yes. Do you have enough money? Yes. Good luck. Oh, she's doing it. She stayed. Wow. That was very... F no! <laughs> no, you! Stay here! Open door. Unlock. Unlock door. God, uh, she said good luck. Did you get anywhere? Yes. Do you have enough money? Yes. Good luck. Thank you. You're welcome. Stay here. I'd be afraid to stay here all alone. Use handcuffs. You don't have it. Where are my handcuffs? Okay, I have a new idea. Okay, so she doesn't follow me, right? No! <laughs> it's gonna lock it! Lock door! With her in it! Unlock door. Okay, maybe we have to be faster. Lock door! <laughs> She's so fast! <laughs> Stay here! I'm with you, big guy. The bartender said specifically that you should be gone. Ditch the lady. Open door. Oh my god. Unlock door. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I use my radio. Oh, I don't have my radio anymore. What are you gonna do? Scream and pray that dispatch will hear you. That's freaking rude. Did you get anywhere? Yes! Yes! Stay here! I'd be afraid to stay here all alone. Go home? Go to jail? Okay, what if I call for backup? Maybe I this is maybe this is the time. Use phone. Dumb number to die, not dial 911. Hello? Cops don't call 911? What do you mean? Why not? What? what? Why can't I call 911? He said call him. I don't have a special phone number. It's 911. He called 911. I'm undercover. Use phone. Number to dial. I don't know my police phone number. I didn't write it down. Wait. Operator. Do you think this will work? The number you have reached is disconnected or no longer in service. Please check the number and dial again. The operator is not in service! <laughs> what was that? Oh my god. Use phone. 912. <laughs> Shailen, you're as disturbed about the, the shirt as I am. Am I softlocked? I don't... It, well, I want to know if I'm softlocked. Yeah. Yeah, if I if I am softlocked, you can tell me. Not if I'm about to be softlocked, but if I am softlocked. Um... Cool! Cool, 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 cool! So she is perpetually following me, even though she's not supposed to. Maybe I can drag her in here and lock her in the bathroom. Call her over. Come here. Take a bath. Go pee. Use toilet again. She didn't even care. I didn't even close the door. Why won't she stay? Okay, let's go see what happens if she... Maybe she has her own room. Go to room. Lady. Okay, wait, wait. Talk 
two sweet cheeks. Isn't this fun? Fun. No, it's not fun at all. You have to leave me alone. She's so clingy. She's she's not really a sex worker. She's a, a prisoner. We arrested her and we're using her for our mission. Press button. One. Maybe I could just leave her upstairs somewhere on the roof or something. Yeah, it's a it's a cane, yeah. It's a cane with a secret gun inside. Maybe I can like put her in my car. <laughs> Hi Dougie, hello! Oh my god, the pixels. Hey baby, let's go up to the room. Come on. Oh my god. Sweet cheeks. I need you to be gone from here. I guess I could pay her, but that doesn't make any sense since she's my prisoner. What'll it be? Gambling. Come back after you ditch the broad and I'll see what I can do. Okay. Hey Whitey, says Sweet Cheeks. When you've been walking the streets as long as I have, you don't need to climb stairs. Okay, she wants to use the elevator. Alright. Okay. Fine. I guess maybe I have to dissolve something. It's gotta be in the room. I have to figure out how to ditch her. What if I go to floor three? There's more floors. Leave her here. Do that yourself, okay. Stay here. I'm with you. Damn it. Push <laughs> button. Two. Cut! She won't leave! <clears throat> If I got arrested and the cops were using me for a dangerous undercover mission, I'd want to stay as close to that cop as possible. That's true. She should be safe in her- in the room. You would think. You have an idea? I've seen a lot of ideas in chat and I don't want any of them, unfortunately, because I am playing the game. So chat, stop giving me ideas, please. I want to figure it out on my own. Yes. Yes. You need to stay. Stay here. I'm afraid I'd stay here all alone. Okay, hold on. Use phone. Call pizza. There's no pizza. Okay. Sweet Cheeks Marie Undead. That's my full name too. Oh my God. I just want you to know that this is very entertaining. Thanks, Don Zero. Thanks for being entertained by my plight. I appreciate you being here and being part of the experience of pain and anguish. Okay, pay money. How can you do that? I will give her money and she will take it and then she will leave me alone. Pay money. No, I can't give money. If I give money, you lose the game. I can give her room key. Thanks a lot. Now, watch. I think I'm soft locked. I just got soft locked. <laughs> Ask for a room key? Maybe I just leave and then she just stays in the room because she has the key now. Damn it, woman! Okay, I reload. She took my key. She took she took the key and then um she took it and then she kept it. Okay, I've reloaded. No, I can't shoot her. That's inappropriate. But yeah, please chat. But watch out with your um, with your hints. Don't make me Comic Sans backseat you. Don't make me put this on the screen. It's very um, unappealing. Put it on for you're in a 90 second uh, timeout. Okay, so <laughs> look what you done, chat. Look what you done. I forgot how to drink. Actually, I have to go to the restroom anyways. I've only taken one break. I've been sitting here for four hours almost. Let me be right back for a second. I'll I'll be right back and I'll think about what to do with uh, Mrs. Sweet Cheeks Marie. Be right back. Dad, are you gonna be good? Don't make me put the comic songs on the screen. I'll do it. All comic songs. Okay, no more comic songs. I am highly- I am better than BRB screen. I am advanced. Nalvara. Take off hat. 
Take off clothes. Ah! Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot you lose if you take off your clothes. Okay, good start. That's what I came up with when I went BRB. It didn't work. <laughs> oh, it's melty. Okay. This is awkward. I don't know. Me and Sweet Cheeks in a hotel room that I paid for and getting naked makes you lose. Also, I feel like I'm losing part of my body. My body's the same color as the carpet. <laughs> what the plan? Can you explain what the plan was? Well, I missed the game's becoming to start being more Leisure Suit Larry, you know, pimp and then she's here and all this. So I thought maybe we just get naked that you paid for it? Oh, sorry, that the taxpayers paid for it. <laughs> okay. Um, pay money. Pay tip. Pay sweet cheeks. That sounds like a good idea, so sweet cheeks, but I thought we were on duty. Stay here, please. Stay here. Okay, 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 is it really the TV? Turn on TV. As much as you'd love to catch some old dragnet reruns, you realize you must keep your mind on the case. It's not the TV. Okay. What am I eating? I'm eating peanut butter toast. I need to ditch her, but she will not be ditched. Ditch her. Leave broad. I'm sorry to use that term, but the game used it. I can't leave through the front door. I can't leave through this door. Leave through window. Open window. The window is sealed shut for your protection. Damn it! <laughs> okay, I'll have another piece of toast. Hmm. Hi, Pastina. You remember playing this? It's very traumatic. I think that a lot of people who played this must remember it because it traumatized them because it was so difficult that it was ingrained in their brain. Shoot her in the toe. Shoot her in the toe. I mean, usually that's my solution for everything, Spock fan. You know me well. Yeah, I was singing Jingle Bells. <laughs> I do sing jingle bells while patting my belly. Baby belly, so it's allowed. It's a, it does a, it's very uh, educational, you know? They say to play classical music. Nothing's more classical than jingle bells, right? I think this hotel needs to be investigated. Walls made of flesh, carpets made of flesh. <laughs> That's true. Those, the walls downstairs were her face color and then the carpets are my body color. <laughs> okay. Show her cane. Shoot her. Just do it. Use gun. <laughs> Fire Very awkward for you to have raided at the exact time that I was attempting to murder my girlfriend. But I swear, this is a very good stream and it's not always about murdering or <laughs> jail. Hi, thanks for the raid. Hello. Welcome. Thank you so much. How was your stream? If you guys don't know who Aurora is, she's a lovely streamer who plays retro games on um, what's it called? Authentic, original hardware. Very cool. Everybody go follow. Welcome to my stream of newcomers. We're playing Police Quest. It's going okay. terribly. <laughs> I'm currently on an undercover mission, playing as a cop. Undercover, dressed like that. That is my lady friend. 
she's also in on the mission and I'm trying to figure out how to ditch her because I'm trying to go to a gambling ring and the gambling ring won't let her come, but she won't stay because she's like afraid or something. So I was trying to murder her when you guys raided. It didn't work, but maybe it'll work if I, if I try to murder harder. Look at Kane. Your custom African walnut ivory inlaid cane is a gold eagle's head concealing a 22 caliber Derringer pistol. Use pistol. You don't have it. I did try to call 911. Yes, I'm getting desperate, okay? There's only certain objects in this room. The cupboards are empty. The TV won't go on. And there's a phone. So I use the phone to call 911. Is that so bad? Hi, Panda. <laughs> Is that so wrong? Hi, Big Pharma. Welcome on in. Welcome, 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 welcome. There's a little bit of murder in this channel and a little bit of jail and a little bit of gambling and a little bit of murder. No, that's I didn't call for backup because that's what I was trying to do when I called 911. Also, no spoilers. What do you think calling 911 is? If you if you call backup, you call 911. I also tried to dial the operator. So, um, the operator is unavailable. She ghosted me. <laughs> Cops don't call 911, but I'm not a cop. I'm undercover. That's different. It's different. What do I have? A trick cane. I have Cadillac keys. I have a newspaper. I've marked money in a room key. Okay, what if I lock her in from this side? Lock door. Just follows me every time. Stop following me. Undercover cops definitely don't call 911. Yeah, because um, did I get anywhere with the bartender? Yes. Do you have enough money to carry through you through a gambling session? Yes. Good luck. Thank you. Stay here. I'd be afraid to stay here all alone. I think I have to call backup. Call backup. What are you gonna do? Scream and pray that dispatch will hear you. I have to use the telephone. That's the only way. Use phone. One. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. I don't have, I can't check my notes because my notebook is still in my locker because they wouldn't let me bring my briefcase. Yeah, um, I, it's no spoilers, please chat. If I want spoilers, I will ask chat. I will ask, but I do not need it. And trust me, I've played all the King's Quest games, and all the Space Quest games, and Quest for Glory games, and now we're playing Police Quest, and I've solved quite a few number of puzzles, but do I sometimes do get stuck, but it's part of the journey. phone number. I didn't write it down. Or Morgan's phone number. Use phone. Call Morgan. <laughs> number you have reached is disconnected. That's not his phone number. progress I think in this game based on how hard the game is um I feel like we did we've done pretty well for ourselves I get I did get stuck earlier today but aside from that we've been powering through pretty well I got stuck a couple times because of the way this game works language wise versus the other games sorry I have one more bite let me just eat this I'll mute the microphone
Okay. Back in business. <laughs> Sorry, I had to have a peanut butter snack. Okay. Sierra. Why? Let's try something else. Maybe we can ditch her somewhere else, like at the front desk or down the stairs. Or maybe I can ask the front desk the police's phone number. <laughs> oh boy. Because he said ring me if you need anything else. And I do need something from this guy. Push button. Hello. Good day, sir, says the desk clerk in his best plastic voice. How may I help you? Call police. Talk to clerk. How may I help you? What? <laughs> Ask police number. I would like to try to put the Sierra Hint line phone number into the phone if anybody knows what it is. Leave girl. Just do that yourself. Ask her to leave. How can you do that? Tell him to tell her <laughs> to leave. <laughs> Ask her to stay. Just ring if I may be of assistance. Well, you were completely, absolutely useless. Hey, baby, let's go up to the room. Come on. How do I ditch her? 8675309? Is that. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Okay. If you decide you want to drink, I'm at your service. I've decided. Oh, I almost got her stuck. Oh, bye. Bye, idiot. Sweet Cheek says, baby, you can go in that old storm if you want to, but I'm going to wait out here. Okay. Fine. Good. Open casino door. Open door. Securely locked. Damn it. They got me. 1-800-STAR-WARS. Is she gone? Damn it! <laughs> She's still here. I thought she was gone for a second. Gambling. Come back after you ditch the broad and I'll see what I can do. Ditch broad. Okay. All right. I can get her stuck sometimes. What if I get her stuck? Like if she goes in the elevator? Bye! Ah, she's stuck! <laughs> Did you see? She was stuck. Damn it. Okay. She unstuck herself. I guess I have to really leave her somewhere. Push button to. God. Hi, Camilla. I forgot this game existed. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty great. I think like today we've gotten stuck on the worst puzzles of the game, but up until now it was it was pretty good. It's pretty fun. But now we're stuck again. She won't leave me alone. This lady is like the clingiest, clingy, clingy lady in the world. Yeah, her walk animation is bouncy and it's very not good. It's not good. Yes. Do you have enough money? No. Oh God, Sunny, what will you do? I don't know. Ditch broad. Leave broad. Stay here. I'm afraid to stay here all alone. Too bad. Ask her to stay. Ask her to stay. Tell her to stay. Stay. Stay here. She just says, I'm too afraid to be all alone. It doesn't make any sense. It contradicts each other. If she can't be alone, but I need her to stay because the bartender won't let me talk to her unless she, talk to him unless she stays, unless I ditch the broad, but I can't ditch her because she's too afraid. Then the only solution is to call backup, to call for people, then she won't be alone and then I can go do the thing, maybe. But that seems really suspicious because if I call backup too early, then they'll, it'll, it'll bust my, it'll, 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 it'll thing do the thing. 
They'll know! What did I put her in the drawer? Open drawer. There's nothing in there. Okay, back to the phone. Use phone. 1-800-STAR-WARS. No, what's Sierra's phone number? Let me check my manual. Let me just get the, the hint line phone. Uh... Hmm... Looking for it. Looking. I have this phone number, but that's... I don't know if that's the hint line phone number. Does anyone have it? 1-800-ROBERTA. That doesn't seem right. Roberta was not involved in the making of this jiggly boob game, okay? She has self-respect. She punishes you without boobs. 209-683. Let's try this number. I don't know if it's the right one. 209-683. 6858. It's the not it's their official Sierra phone number. Hello, Sierra Online Customer Support. Larry Weisenborn speaking. How may I help you? But hurry up because I'm leaving soon. Hint! Hint books are available for $7.95. Try calling this number to place your order, but next time use a real phone, not this, this game. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. He wouldn't give me a hint! Uh, freaking Larry! <laughs> Which one's the 900 number? What is it? I think I got points. Did I not get three points there? The hint was to buy the hint book. That's true. <laughs> One nine hundred three seventy five five eight three. Ghosted. Ghosted. No, I've never played Phantasmagoria. I think it's too, um, it's too vile. Or not vile, I don't know. It's just not, I don't think it's a good stream game. Robert, did Roberta animate the boobs in King's Quest 3 and 4? Okay, if, if, if she did, it was all equal, okay? Not just one character in the game. Um, I'm pretty- we already got the points, chat, for calling the hint line. What we need now... Maybe it's in the indoctrination guide. If I was an indoctrination guide, for the police, I would include the police phone number in the guide. So let's see, because there's a phone here for a reason. It must be for calling someone. Here's the helpline. Inspect order. I haven't tried order. Order, oops. Order to stay. Hold on. Order her to stay. Order to stay. Fudge. Okay, didn't work. Um, back to the manual. Oh, thanks for the follow. Darn you, woman. How could this be the hardest puzzle if she just won't leave me alone? Why would she leave me alone? Just leave. I don't, it, just leave. Leave her. Leave me. How did I get Larry? I called the Sierra phone number. That's at, at the back of the manual. That's how I got Larry. It doesn't say anywhere um, what to what you do if you don't have a phone and you don't know the police phone number. <laughs> Doesn't say in the manual what to do if you forgot how to contact your boss. <sighs> it just has to shower a lot. It doesn't say. Mm. Mm. 
What if I arrest her? I can arrest her, right? Look in the pigeonhole. I've never looked in the pigeonhole before. What the heck is a pigeonhole? There's nothing here. Manual is a bust. Arrest her. Arrest. Murder. Kill her. Shoot her. Shoot her with gun. Use gun on her. Use cane on her. Threaten. Thread tan? <laughs> no, that's not how you spell it. Mmm. Or mailbox. I don't remember seeing any mailboxes in this game, do you? Give her gun. Give her cane. She's just gonna take it forever. Now you'll never get it back. Give her keys. I have smelled something, yeah, Samus. I smelled her, I think, when she was in jail. Hi, Justinian. I don't have any handcuffs. I already tried that, Kenjami. Tried to handcuff her earlier. Didn't work. I don't have my handcuffs on me. <laughs> Get in bed. Get in bed. Go to bed. Close your eyes. How do I get- how do I ditch her? Leave her here. Tell her to stay. Stay. Stay here. Remain here. Ask her police phone number. <laughs> ah! Hi, Laszlo. Ah! Use phone. 911! Use phone. Zero. That's like the operator, I think. I already tried to stuff her in the drawer, don't worry. Didn't work. For emergencies, dial 911. For information, dial 411. I tried to dial 911. Use, f this is a recording. Use phone. 411. I know, I require information. You have reached directory assistance. Thank you for using lt and Enter party's last name. Oh, uh, Morgan. That's my boss's name. The number is 5557764. Maybe? If there's only one Morgan in the entire city? Use phone. 555-7764. Who said I couldn't solve it without a hint? Who said? Damn it! <laughs> okay, they didn't answer. But maybe he'll answer later. Maybe if I keep trying over and 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 over five 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 seven seven six four. Can I have a new idea? Use phone. Four one one. Call the other guy. You know, if your boss doesn't answer, you call your boss's boss. Dooley. I'm sorry. There's no one listed by that name. Dooley. The head of police, Dooley. Use phone, 555-7764. I'd <laughs> like to talk about your car's extended warranty. Jack? Oh, his um, kid just died? So he's a little busy. But he could use some the company, yeah. Uh, call Jack. I don't remember Jack's last name. Use phone. 411. Oh, right, it's Cobb. It's called Cobb. Yeah, Jack's daughter died earlier today. Cobb. 
Yeah, he's a little busy, but maybe he could help. Probably like planning a funeral. Cobb residence. You offer your condolences to the Cobb family. Thank you so much, Sonny. I got points! <laughs> I'm just here making phone calls. 411. <laughs> Uh, what's my last name again, chat? Sunny, uh, like, Bean or something? Yeah, I guess so, Chameleon. What? I, I guess so. Bonds. I want to call my mom. There's no- there's no one listed by that name. That's my name! This is where, where the game turns into a sci-fi and you realize you've been dead all along. Literally my name. I got points for paying my respects. <laughs> Sweet cheese removal service. I don't exist. Five 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 six six seven four, not five 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 seven seven six four. There's a transcription thing, but figure. You think it's a bug? This game in the in the game, or did I write it wrong? Or you think it's a bug? Okay, let me see. This guy says, is he's, what did I type? Morgan, I think. Five 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 seven seven six four. Five 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 six six seven four. That must be a different number. Maybe that's someone else, and I don't know whose number that is. I don't want to cheat. The number I got was 7764. 6674 might be like. John. <laughs> Lieutenant Morgan, who's speaking? Wait, they said there was no one by Morgan available in the phone book! I put in a dash? I didn't put a dash. No, I tried both. No, that was a different number I just called. I just called a different number. I just called the number Chameleon put in chat, which is to Morgan, not Dooley. But when I typed 401 and I typed in Dooley's last, Morgan's last name, I'm pretty sure it said there was no one by that name. I don't know. Anyways, request backup. Who's speaking? Oh, uh, Sunny. Hello, Mr. Bankston. Why don't you send Sweet Cheeks Marie back to the station by cab? Oh my god. Try to get behind the scenes in the hotel. This is the dumbest puzzle ever. Try to get behind the scenes in the hotel. Your backup personnel will be arriving later this evening. Good luck. That's true, I just blew my cover. Yeah, they get, why did they, okay, so why did they give me the wrong number, though? Does anyone understand that? I tried with a dash and without a dash, but the answer was 6674, not 7764. Does anyone have an explanation as why it's the wrong number? Here, I'll reload so everyone can see what happened. Oh, but I didn't get my points. Okay, use phone. 411. I think it's a bug. I don't know. I type Morgan. 557764. That's what I wrote down. 557764. Use phone. 555-7764. Hi, Acupunker! No answer. Doesn't work. Use phone. Um, I would like to call the Sierra helpline again so we can get our points. 209683, 209683, 6858. Yeah, thanks, Chameleon. I think it's a bug. How did you do it, Chameleon? Did you beat this puzzle without the with the bug? I want a hint, and then he says he doesn't give me a hint, and I get points. Use phone. 411. Is it bugging because Mor Mar Morgan is his family name, not his first name? 
But it asks, doesn't it ask for a last name? Cobb. Is his name Cobb? 555-2622. I don't think you need dashes. Okay, I got the points there. Yeah, no dashes are required. That's how I got the number asked him before I left for the hotel. Oh. Wow, that's smart. How would you know to, to get his phone number? That's pretty hardcore. Yeah, I, okay, so it's a bug. Anyways, whatever. It's a bug and it's annoying. It's an annoying bug, but it's a bug. Yeah, so if you ask when he's at the PlayStation, he gives you the right number, but when you ask 411, they have his old number. Yeah, we're undercover, Aki Punker. So what is it again? It's 555-667-6674. He said call me. I just assumed you could call 911. <laughs> Who's speaking? Uh, thanks. Bankston. Lieutenant Morgan, who's speaking? Bankston. Bonds. Bonds. Okay. Wow. Buggy game. <laughs> you want me to try 411 and then police station? Okay. Use phone. 411. Even just figuring out the 411 thing, I just want to say, was a little bit difficult. This game will not age well. Enter party's last name. Police. It doesn't work. You are a buggy game. It's, you have to enter the last name and I assumed Morgan was his last name. So when you type Morgan, it gives you the wrong number. It's, a, it's just a bug. We add, well, the fact that we did it, mostly, is impressive, don't you think, chat? I did that mostly without help until the bug. So, GG. Mr. Police. The name is Station, Police Station. <laughs> I mean, I could try Police Station, but it says last name, so even if that, if that works, it's still dumb. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I guess I should call a taxi for her from up there. I thought this guy could do it, though. Push bell. Press bell. Use bell. Ding bell. Click bell. I forget what the term is. Use bell? Oh, ring bell. It has to be ring. Wear glasses. I dropped them. Good day, sir. Call taxi. I'm sorry, sir, the desk clerk, but you'll have to do use the telephone in your room. Are you serious? You are the worst service. Yeah, so Acubunker, to catch you up, we are um, disguised as a pimp in the video game. Okay. Um, and our cane is secretly a gun. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> John, thanks for 23 months. Thanks. Why a pimp? Um, why a pimp? So this sweet cheeks here is a sex worker, and we have taken her out of jail to temporarily use her to bust this gambling ring, which will lead us to the enemy that we are trying to bust. We took sweet cheeks out of jail to use her for this bust. And now I'm trying to get into the gambling ring, but the gambling ring won't let me in unless I ditch her. And she won't leave because she's very clingy. And so I had to do this whole phone thing. So, yeah. Sweet Cheeks Marie, full name. 555-9222222. Five, 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 two, 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 two. Five, 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 Two, two. Where's the pickup? Hotel. 
Okay, we have a way, a car on the way. Good thing it didn't ask me what hotel, because I have no idea. You instruct Sweet Cheeks to catch a cab and go to the police station. Do it. Yeah, bye. God. Goodness gracious. So clingy. Lock door. Goodness, <laughs> there's only one hotel. <laughs> pick me up at hotel, please. Hello, taxi. Please pick girl up at hotel. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That was a really hard sequence of events. I did try to call the operator earlier and type zero. I didn't think of 411. I've never used 411 in, in my entire life. But uh, we got there. We did get there without without hints. Will it be? Rum. Also gambling. Well, I mean, it was a bit of a bug, so. Is it 411 in Canada? I guess so. I've never used it. I always just thought you could call the operator. It's a very like long time ago, olden days kind of thing. Does 411 even work nowadays? I don't even know. That'll be $5. I really don't want to give you any more money. Can you tell me about gambling? Okay, so you want to try your luck, says Woody. Come on, Whitey, follow me. Yeah, I don't know, I just use the internet like someone from the present day. <laughs> I've only, the only time I've ever seen people use 411 or an operator is on TV, in the movies. <laughs> Hello, drug dealer. I would like to buy some drugs from you, Mr. Drug Dealer. I'm a perfectly normal drug user wanting some drugs. <laughs> Woody raps a staccato rhythm on the door. Oh, someone asked about the music. This is music from Police Quest 3, the intro song. That's what we're listening to. It's just some background music. Enter. Open door. Wait, what? Oh, a panel in the wood slides open. Woody whispers through the opening. I've got a new player for you. Come over here, says Woody. I have to frisk you before you can get in. We don't want no trouble around here. Woody tells you, okay, why do you have a good time? Don't take a wizard's staff. You know what I'm saying? Okay, casino. Hello, I have arrived. I forget what I'm supposed to do. Look around. You see some unfamiliar men playing cards. All right, well, I mean, there's one chair, so I'll sit here, I guess. Sit. Good evening, gentlemen, you say to the men at the table. I'm Jimmy Lee Bankston. Yes, may I join you? Yes, you may, Mr. Bankston, says the man across the table. Have a seat. I'm sitting. Would you deny, you would deny an old man his walking stick? <laughs> it has a gun in it. <laughs> I'm Otto, and to your left is Jean. Hi, Otto. Hello. Hi, Jean. Hello. Glad to meet you, you respond. <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen. I'm Chuck's notes. <laughs> I was just making sure my character said it properly. Oh, God. It's the guy. Otto introduces you to the newcomer. Frank, this is Mr. Jimmy Lee Bankston. He's going to join us for a few hands. Mr. Bankston, meet Frank. Hi, Frank. Hello. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Bankston, says the newcomer. Let's play poker. Oh no, we have to play for real! Oh, really it's very terrible this. news. I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling about this. Me too! I have a terrible feeling about this. I totally forgot, this is in the manual. I don't know how to play poker. Thank you for the 101 biddies, Samus, and thanks for the 233. What's wrong with me? Maybe there's something wrong with the universe. I didn't save. How many $10 chips? Oh, god damn it. Okay, we're gonna learn how to play poker in 30 seconds. Um, oh, I clicked the wrong button. Thank you for the biddies. Where's our poker poker manual? There's another manual with the poker instructions. 
Um. Really bad oh, me too. Right there with you, all right? This. I've got a bad feeling about this. I've oh, here it is. I have a bad <laughs> feeling about this. Hoot slides some cards under the table. I wish now. Hoot was here. Okay. <clears throat> 30 seconds. Draw poker is a card game. Really Five cards are dealt to each this. player. An initial fee called an ante is charged before each hand. And please quest ante is ten dollar chip. After all players ante, the cards are dealt. I have a bad <laughs> Thank you for the hundred and one bits. Yeah, keep a really it. bad feeling about this. After now. initial betting takes place, players are asked if they want to draw cards. Sure. Players are allowed to draw a maximum of three cards. Uh okay. Oh my goodness, Excalibur! I bet it all! I put Poker all luck. the bits on the table. <laughs> Thanks for the thousand bits. Thank you so much! Thanks for the bits, chat. You started to hype train. A really bad feeling oh my this. goodness! I, I, bet I, bet all. I bet it all! I bet it all! I bet it all! Blow on the dice! Chat, can you blow on my dice, please? About this. Gamble with these bits. <laughs> All right, straight flush, uh, blah, 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 blah. That sounds boring. Anti-fold, call, raise, pot, stake, how to bet. You've got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold <laughs> them. Know when to walk away and know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting. When the <laughs> dealing's done. I have a really bad feeling about this. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Signal, I've got thank you for the 100 bits. Hello, Roar, thank you for the 100 bits. And Chameleon, thank you for the 101 bits. I have a bad feeling about this. Thanks. Strategy tips. Watch the amount your opponents bet. The number of chips that your opponents wager will give you a good indication of the strength of their hands. Watch how many cards your opponents really take. The number of cards this. they take will often a be a good indicator of the strength of their I've hands. I've got a bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling about this. Perfect. I, I know exactly what this. to do. If this is fugitive Frank, <laughs> now Thanks, Thanks for the bits. How many $10 chips? Two. <laughs> back, can I call back up now? I'm gonna have me some fun. I'm gonna have me some fun. I'm gonna have me some fun. Thank you. I'm having so much fun. Thanks for the. Oh, I got. Oh, my stream's cutting out. I gotta go. I don't know. I guess I just have to end the game now. Thank you for the level two hype train. This is one of the worst hands I could have. Fold. Oh, how many cards? One. Which card to discard? One. I have to fold. I would like to fold. I'm gonna win so hard, chat. You just wait. How many $10 chips? Zero. I fold. <laughs> oh, it let me, that's me save. I was like, why did this screen pop up? Poker. Okay. All right. Now what? Do I fold? Do I type fold? Hello? Hello? Deal? Oh. Hello? <laughs> okay. Oh, look, I have two threes. That's good, right? Oh, is that even... Are those my cards? <laughs> I don't know anything about poker. <laughs> How many tell dollars chips? Three. Duh. Whitey raises three. What's my name? Am I... Oh, my name's Jimmy. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> How many cards? Two. First card to discard. One. Second card to discard. Two. No, five. Auto takes three cards. Am I winning? <laughs> I have a really bad feeling about this. I have a bad What's feeling about this. What's my name? Are those my cards? This. 
How do I play poker? Am I winning? Those are my questions. What's my name? <laughs> I'm a cop, okay? You're not a poker player. I'm not Toby Maguire here. How am I? I think I lost money. Three. Auto calls. There's things that happened. I lost 30 bucks. What do I do? Oh, it's over. Oh, this is the end. Okay. I lost. <laughs> Am I supposed to win? Maybe it's good that I lose. Why do I have to win? I thought the backup was just gonna come. Deal. Okay. All antis are in. I have $560. Okay, chat, you just put type numbers in chat and then I'll do what you say to do. I have two pairs. Those are my cards. <laughs> so I should bet three. Okay, got it. Pot is 10 chips. Auto calls, Gene calls. Everyone has good hands, Frank calls. How many cards? Now, I don't know what to do now. Just one, because I like my cards. Okay, which card to discard? Three? Or four? Sorry, four. Four. God. See, I know how to play, actually. I just realized. <laughs> I'm gonna win. Auto takes three cards, Frank takes three cards. You have $530, pot is 16 chips. I got a five. Or what is that? Yeah. How many $10 chips? Do I bet more? Three again? Because I'm like so pro. I'm going to take them for all their money. Okay. Gene calls. Gene's looking good. Auto calls also. I won! I think. Thanks for the follow. I think I... Did I win? What? I won. I mean, I have Good more job. money. Yeah! <laughs> I'm winner! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want a hand. Oh, I can save now. You're right. Okay. Save scumming poker. I wonder how many times I have to win. It's really just not in my hand, but okay, deal again. Woo! All aunties are in. Doesn't seem very good, but I guess, no, it doesn't seem very good, does it, chat? Gross. Can I just fold? I can just fold, right? Folded. Do, 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 Three hands at a table in one game, all getting two pair. What do I do now? What if, but if I put in no money, why am I still even playing? Three? Oh, you can still, you still have a chance to get better cards. I didn't fold? Oh, I just didn't bet. I thought that was the same thing. First card to discard. Oh, because nobody, no one else bet. Oh, okay, okay. First card to discard with two or the three. Okay. Second card to discard four. I already typed one. I didn't. Uh, okay. Okay, that's what I did. Frank takes three cards. Jean passes. I have two. I have one pair. That's pretty good. Well, it's it's all right. So I can bet three. I don't think I'll win, but I can bet three. We'll see. Jean folds. Frank won. I lost. 
This is so okay. Great. Cool. Four, two, five, eight, nine. That seems terrible. This is poker. Yeah, hi, Miss Ragnarok. We have to play poker. We're playing poker and we suck. Um, I don't, does it really matter? I should request a change of the deck. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm just gonna stream poker. No, thanks. Queen seven, two, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine is number or numbers. <laughs> I got more. I think zero, yeah. We're on the same page, chat. They are numbers. Auto wins. I'm losing money by the by the minute. Two queen king eight jack. I guess <laughs> seven eight nine. This takes so long. Get that straight. All right. We could try. Chat says zero. Casino Royale. I think we watched it for movie night, didn't we? A few weeks ago? Or, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Like a month ago. Some of you say zero, some of you say three. That's, uh, so two. <laughs> because you can't agree on anything. I could just reload, I guess, since we've lost money since that time. Do you win by winning a certain amount of games or do you win by making a certain amount of money, chat? Does anyone know who's played this game before? Money, hands, okay. Certain amount of games, okay, chat can't agree. Classic chat. 20 grand? I don't think that's right. Six queen, king, three jack. Twitch. Thanks so much! I'm glad you like them, and I'm glad you can continue to use them! Thanks for supporting the stream! Thanks! Should I just reload? I can't tell if I reload if it'll be random or not. Three... Oh my gosh... Why do I keep getting shitty hands? So sad. It's gonna take all day. We could be here all day. That's how poker works. Yeah, but this is a video game. Not a freaking poker simulator. It's an adventure game. Does it look like I'm adventuring? <laughs> I should have a poker sponsorship with this. If I'm gonna be playing poker on stream, I better be making millions like those other streamers. Where are my million dollars? Sp hashtag ad. Hello? Hello? Sierra? You owe me an IOU. I'm adventuring to the shady world of online gambling. It's, um, real life gambling, so... Oh god. <laughs> you got the kazoo! Excitement. Red means culture. Red means culture. 
culture. Thank you for um, <laughs> the ad. Red means excitement. Time to gamble on the Ramadu ad. Thank you for the kazoo. Redeem. Girl in the tower. 750 bits. Does this suck? It has a 7 and an 8 and a 9, chat. Girl in the tower. I sold out to Ramada. When are they gonna invite me to stay at their hotel? So then I type three. First card to discard. I don't care. Just give me a good hand. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I just chose at random. I couldn't, I couldn't wait for chat. It'll take too long if I wait for chat's response every time. I have a pair. That improved, didn't it? So... Maybe I'll win. Just bluff a little. Should have paid attention in Star Trek more. Did I win? Oh, Jean wins. Did I win? No, I did not win. Win game. Win at poker. Win poker game. Deal. I should have gotten Sweet Cheeks in here, yeah, but she wasn't invited. You have a new idea. What if... Oh, oh, I can't. What if I reload... And every, until I get a good hand? Is this a good hand? That's what you did. I feel like if they let you save, then that's what they want you to do. I have to be able to reload though. Seven, three, eight, five, Jack. What's the goal? I don't know, Scold. I think we have to win a certain amount of games is the goal. And we've only won one. You could save in the old game, Gary. It's not just like a new thing. I mean, I think saving is a little bit easier, but you could always save in the Sierra games. Type save. I got a pair. Okay, I have a pair. That's pretty good. Pair of jacks. Let's go for it. What if we just like play until we have a good hand and then always bet the maximum amount? <laughs> or bluff? Three. I'll bet three. I think so, Gary. I don't know. I never played it back in the day. It was more difficult. Yeah, but. What difference does that make? This game was also made to be played over like months. They also wanted you to call the helpline, pay $2 a minute. They also wanted you to buy the hint book. None of which is relevant to us in 2022 about getting through the stupid mini game. Um, two I'm assuming? I don't want this one or this one, I think. Did I win? Am I a winner? <laughs> I got a queen. She's cool, right? Uh, I guess it does, like, shouldn't I just bet a lot? Because then I could just reload if it doesn't work out. Yeah, okay. I bet all my money. Uh, maybe Tegan. I don't know. You never know with my stream. Did I win? No, I didn't win. Gene wins. Gene always freaking wins. Double aces. Are you serious, Gene? Are you serious? Is a pair of sixes good? 
You can never win with one pair. Yeah, Jean's, Jean's cheating. Can't I just arrest all these noobs? Thanks for the follow. <laughs> I arrest all of you. You're under arrest. I'm a cop. Read them their Miranda rights. What if I keep my ace just in case? Because it's like a cool card that is an ace. <laughs> How did I just abroad? You have to call 411 and then you have to call Dooley. Get Dooley's number and you have to call Dooley and then Dooley says to call her a cab and then you have to call her a cab and then she leaves. That's how I got rid of her. Auto wins. Do, 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 do. Shoot Jean, that's a good idea. Get the cane out. Psh. Psh, psh. Yeah, so simple. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very easy game for babies. Baby game for babies. This is, it's, this is something. This is something. Seven, seven. I'm all in. <laughs> you can't win, I don't think. They're too good. Does the, like, can you even bluff? Do you think the AI knows when you're bluffing? And can you just, like, maybe do they bluff, you think? Go for the straight? Oh, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. So I get rid of one, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go. Damn it. I got a king. Do I win? <laughs> Chat. Chat. Chat made me do it. it. Double eights. Can you make it go faster? I don't think there's speed in this one. Chat. Tell them I'm a cop. I could just arrest them. I have backup on the way. What do I get rid of here? I don't know what to do. Can you advise me on this hand? Get rid of everything but the eights? Okay. It's fake money. <laughs> okay. Uh, two, four, five. Maybe we'll get another eight. We didn't. We didn't get another eight. Frank's a little wiener. Frank, you wiener. Do, 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 do. We're just gambling some taxpayer money. No big deal. Like, they don't need it. Nine, four, two, king, six. Going once, going twice, going three times. I don't, if, if one of these is really good, and unless it has pairs or more than one of the same, I have no idea what it means. Come on! Oh, two threes. Wow, I'm gonna win for sure. I bet everything. I put all my money. You can fold, but like, there's no point. It takes so long versus just reloading. I think it's faster. Oh, 
Oh, I guess I could have cut the ace. Oh, whatever, too late. I already checked the nipple earlier. All right. And I got points for that. So no more nipple checking for the rest of the stream in the video game, to be clear. <laughs> ah! I don't think this is gonna win. I don't think we're gonna win. But maybe if I bluff five of a kind, <laughs> I lost money. What? My money's gone. Frank, you jerk, come on. Oh, I have a pair of fives. That's not good enough. We need, like, a, the best hand ever. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Just, I just, oh, because I spam it, that's why. No more nipple checking for the rest of the stream, yeah. Unless you have to identify a murderer. Two, three, four, three, ace. Hey, that's numbers, right? <laughs> Get rid of the three. That's what we tried last time and we lost, but we could try it again. Maybe we'll get a, maybe we'll get something for once. Here we go. Don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. Don't. He, how did he win already? Did I win? Oh, I won. Yay. <laughs> I keep forgetting I'm whitey. I'm whitey chat. Yay. Oops. I broke my, I, I pressed my mouse so hard that I messed up the DPI. Okay, we're back. Yay. I won a second time. Yeah, fold you loser heads. That's what you get for coming against uh, Jimmy Lee Bankston. I thought, why am I whitey? Oh, they call me, they call me whitey. I have two fours and a three and an ace. A three, four. <laughs> I keep forgetting my identity all the time. <sighs> I forgot my, 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 um, my secret name. Okay, ready for this? You've never seen plays this five head. I'm gonna, you're gonna be like, oh my God. I got another ace. That's too, that's good, right? A pair of aces? That seems good. I told you it was five head. Wow. I'm so great. I'm gonna win right now. I won! <laughs> I'm a gambler now. I'm addicted to gambling. Let it be known. Deal. Woo! 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 <laughs> that was professional. I just had to believe in the cards. This looks bad. Confirm? Chat? Can you just uh, confirm this is bad? Go for flush? I don't know what that means. Bad. Could be a yellow. You could yellow a flesh. I don't know what that means. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh. Toss nine and Q. All matching suits. Isn't that already matching? Oh, those are not all hearts. Oh. Okay. Uh, two, four. Diamonds. <laughs> cool idea, though. Do I just reload? Pair of sixes? I don't think that's enough. These Our opponents are very powerful. Unless I scare them into submission. Frank won. We lost to Frank. The most embarrassing of losses. Nine, ten, six, eight, queen. That seems bad. I could be wrong. T 
Too late. Too late, chat. Gotta think faster. <laughs> Tuck nine, eight, three, ten. Uh, bleh. You think? Go for straight? Which one's the straight? Oh, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Okay. Toss three. Just the three? 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, here we go. Got it. I'm on it. I always bet maximum. Betting less than maximum is for losers. <gasps> oh, no, that's not good. I was excited for a second. Do, 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 close, close. Unfortunately, close means nothing. <laughs> Hello, please let me out of here. I want to reload. Well, um, this is a very climactic way to end our day. Five, five, seven, two, eight. Maybe they'll just be scared of me. I can't bet all I have. I can only bet a certain amount of chips. This is just like, I am James Bond in Casino Royale and soon I will be tortured and it'll be hard to watch. Ooh, double pair! That's good, I think. If I've learned anything from Toby Maguire. <laughs> all in. I'm always all in. Fold, losers. Heads, loser heads. Oh, full house. That seems good. Oh, oh my god! Well, Mr. Bankston, it seems that poker is your kind of game. If you'd like to come back later tonight, we'll be playing a more private game with considerably higher stakes. God damn it. I don't want to play with you. <laughs> Be sure to give Woody the password. Frank sent you. Do I have to play poker? Can we play a different kind of game? Frank sent you is the password. It's not a very good password. I hate poker now. <laughs> okay. If everything works out well, says Frank, perhaps we can talk a little business afterwards. Great, great. Okay. Open door, <laughs> can I just go? <laughs> Securely locked, use password. All right. Okay, well, I guess uh, we did it. So, yeah, oh no, a door. Time to be stuck for another hour. What'll it be? Rum, please. I made it big. Made tons of money. This bartender's very slow, I just want to say. That'll be $5. Pay five do five dollarinos. Pay man. I think it's my change. I was, there was something about, uh, there was like a voice thing. <laughs> My boss told me. Okay. My boss told me to do stuff. I don't remember. Let's just go back in and see if it's been enough time. Knock. Knock again. Open door. Unlock door. Knock. Say password. Password. Frank sent you. Frank sent me. Knock. I, am, I give up. <laughs> Should I go call the cops again? All right. Well, it's been nice playing with you. Maybe. Mm, mm, I think I have to come back later. Wait. Wait, I have an, I have to tell you something. Frank sent you. <laughs> okay, bye. Open. 
There's stairs. Why do you think there's stairs? <laughs> At least there's a railing in this one. <laughs> Anti numpad champion. I don't need no numpads and I don't need no elevators. Uh oh. Oh, oh, I see. I see what's happened. At least there's no cats to knock me down. Listen, I could do this. Wow, page up. Who needs a numpad when you have the page up button? Not me. Uh, one of these should work. Oh no! <laughs> it went up again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you have to stand exactly in the right spot. I don't know where I'm going, by the way, but maybe this is something. You don't know. Did he say a room and I just wasn't listening? I don't think so. There's only one way to find out. Knock. 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 After a short pause, a voice bellows from the other side of the ground. Get out of here, you nosy pervert. Knock. Oh, that's the staircase. Open door. <laughs> Did I get points for being a perv? I should have. Open door. Knock. You knock, your knock can't penetrate the loud music coming from within. Okay. No one answers. No one answers. Clinking glasses and loud laughter drown out your knock. Are oh, they really wrote something for every single one? I am the one who knocks. Push button. I don't know about this game. It, unlike the Quest for Glory games, it's really taken a turn at the end, but not in a good way. Knock. After listening carefully and trying to decipher some sound, you surmise someone in the room is trying to launch the hotel bed into a low orbit. Really? Really, Al, low? No one answers. You knock and hear nothing but screaming obscenities. Knock. Okay. It's gonna be like... Call Dooley again. Use phone. Uh, five, five, five. But it was like, what was it? Six, four, seven, five. <laughs> oh, six, six, seven, four. Six, six, seven, four. Five, five, five. Six, six, seven, four. No answer. Take a nap. Consider spreading out in the comfortable looking bed, but the case keeps running through your mind. Well, I need to gamble and I need to kill time. Take shower. Okay, maybe it's been enough time now and I just go down and then they're like, okay, time to gamble again. Maybe I have to wait like a certain amount of time. It's a waiting puzzle. I hate waiting puzzles the worst I bet that this I bet the secret meeting though is gonna be in one of the other floors one of the other rooms there's nowhere to sit here the bar is full this guy keeps trying to get tips from me knock knock loudly knock again what if I knock three times knock Beetlejuice 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 Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Frank sent you. Wait, I actually have another idea. <laughs> Maybe. Did he say a room? He didn't, did he? I was listening. Mostly. Right? 
Frank sent you. Frank sent me. <laughs> I did lock the room door, damn it. Dispatcher? good day we got a girl out of jail and then uh we dressed like this and then we went undercover and then we gave up it's got it's just a, he said he was like you know let me save this is where we are i reload oops i reload the other one talk to man talk to man hello sit if you continue to bother our game you're out of here jack Frank sent me. Knock. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Repeat yourself! Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, I bleached my hair. That was cool. That was a good time. Oops. I accidentally alt f forward. Which means we'll have to continue tomorrow during tomorrow's stream. In a time where I, oops, I clicked the BRB screen. In a time where I'm not going to um, delete the video game and report it to the authorities. I'm gonna call 411 and I'm gonna say, excuse me, I would like to report. There's been a crime. There's been a crime against video game history. Yes, we'll continue tomorrow during tomorrow's stream. Exactly, that's exactly what I said. It's exactly what I said. What did he, what did he, what, did he, what is, what's wrong? <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Thanks, welcome. I'll be back tomorrow at the same time as today. Um, hopefully we'll beat the game tomorrow. That's my hope and thought and thinking. I, I think we could do it. Today we got stuck, A, because of, A, because of Sierra, fine. B, because there was a bug in the game. C, because there's poker in the game. Which, really, kids shouldn't play poker. And so, um, you know. <laughs> I have no reasoning. That's it. Okay, thanks everyone. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out. It was very fun. Thanks for cheering me up today and making me laugh and having a good time. I will be back tomorrow. We will have adventures and have a good time and beat the game. Maybe. I, we're getting pretty freaking close. I really think we could beat it tomorrow. I'll jump into the game. No chit chat. Well, there will be a little bit of chit chat. A moderate amount of chit chat. And then we'll jump into the game and we'll beat it. Bam. 